Guys, I'm going to show you a glimpse of my business before Corona shut it down. It starts here in the ocean where I take my clients diving or fishing. We set up a luxury picnic setting and then we cook our butts off ocean to table style. I know you guys heard of farm to table. This is ocean to table. Come with us on the journey. Guys, my name is Kale D. Shanks. Welcome to the channel Hawaii's Only. We release videos every Saturday. Hit that like button, notification bell, and subscribe. We're gonna take you on a journey behind the scenes today and show you what we do and give you a glimpse into how our ocean to table experience works. We actually take clients into the water, diving, fishing, or snorkeling, and then we take what we catch or gather and cook it up for them on the beach. But before we cook it up for them, we set up this luxury picnic setting with throw pillows, blankets, lighting, real china, silverware, wine glasses, etc. And then we get them ready for a night under the stars at the water's edge with their own private personal chef. We took that fresh taco, boiled it, and we're making taco poke with red bell pepper, purple onions, heirloom tomatoes, cilantro, a little bit of lemon Hawaiian salt, and fresh red chili pepper. Then we're gonna take them through some entrees, which is grilled lamb, and here we have the ahi belly with the lime and lemon berblanc sauce. What was your favorite appetizer today? I liked all of it. Like all of it. it was so good. The taco was really soft. Um, I like the spicy. It was delicious. Here we're gonna take you to the Sea of Glass, Hawaii which is a beach house located in Wailua, North Shore, Oahu. As you can tell, I have a few guests with me that are watching me spear lunch. We are only in about three to four feet of water right on the water's edge. Like the beach is literally right there, if you guys could take a peek. So it was awesome for the kids and for the aunties and uncles to kind of join and watch. They all had and took part in spear fishing. They didn't shoot anything, but it was truly a great experience. After our dive, I clean the fish, I prep the fish, and we get ready to go and cook it. All right, guys, we're over here at the uh, Sea of Glass house in Wailua, North Shore, Oahu. We're gonna take you inside. We got this uh, beautiful lanai deck. We got two rooms on the left. We got a living room area here, Monopoly. This is where we'll be having lunch. And this is the kitchen that we'll be working. So I was hired to do this gig by the owner of the Sea Glass House of Hawaii because she wanted to find a personal chef or private chef for potential future guests that would stay in her house. So this is kind of like the interview. Lucky to say she was really impressed with all the food that was presented. And since then I've been partnered with her to provide meals for future guests and tours in case they wanted to go fishing or diving. So as you can see, this is a proposal that we were contracted for. They hired us to do the private cooking event, which was way deep out in the country with a very long hike through sand. I thought I was going to have a heart attack by dragging all my gear there, but we survived the day. It was a successful proposal and I'll take you through some of the food. Her favorite food to eat was sushi. So. We made sushi. Her favorite fruit was watermelon, and I always like to incorporate fruit into my dishes. So the very first course we started off with was a watermelon ceviche, and then we went right into some sushis.
think it was my food. I think it was my food. Was it my food? <laughs> she. Oh man, that was such a beautiful thing to be a part of. I'm so happy I got to be a part of that. Congratulations to the young couple. I'm gonna take you guys through some clips here of some catching cook events I've done for clients that are kind of my favorites or my highlights. I will have all the information below in the description. I'll have my website, my YouTube channels, the Instagram, the Facebooks, etc., etc. It'll all be in there if you guys wanna learn more about Hawaii's only ocean to table experience. Today we are making a spicy beer batter palani with the lily koi sauce and deconstructed tartar sauce with ulu french fries. First we break down the palani and marinate in buttermilk and black pepper for 6 hours. To make beer batter we mix flour, baking powder and our homemade togarashi spice mix. So to plate, we put down our pickled balsamic honey cabbage, our beer batter fish on top, and then we place down our garlic creme fraiche aioli and drizzle our lily koi sauce and garnish with radish and fish eggs. Today we will be making a smoked meat and kaku chowder. First we fillet our kaku, then we prep our celery, onions, potatoes, carrots, garlic and smoked meat. Render the smoked meat and add in the garlic, parsley, carrots, onions, potatoes and celery. Add in butter and flour to make a roux. Then add in your chicken stock, bring to a boil, and simmer until thick. Add in the kaku, close the lid, and turn off the heat. To finish, we have a jalapeno butter herbed corn. Fresh kahuku corn, jalapeno, and herbs. Enjoy with a friend with your favorite glass of wine on the water's edge. So today we're making a sous vide taco. To do the sous vide, we're gonna do lemon zest, olive oil and salt, and sous vide for five hours. To get our pasta ready, we're gonna do olive oil, garlic, tomatoes, pasta, and basil. Once the sous vide taco is finished, we're gonna char roast on top of Kiabi grill. To work on our garnish, we take the tips of the taco lap chong and garlic to make it super light, airy and crispy. To plate, we take our pasta, add in our red vein sorrel, our micro green sorrel, we place our taco, and then we garnish with our crispy taco, the lap chong and the garlic chips. And then to finish, we add lemon and fresh parmesan. Today we are making a kupee opihi and hauke uki scampi. First we clean the opihi and the hauke uke, separating the innards and we put that on the side. Olive oil, garlic, we add in our kupee and compound butter and then our opihi. We slow poach manpachi filet in a compound butter. We mash the innards with a little bit of anchovy to spread on the baguettes. To plate, place the manpachi on the coupe and the fried manpachi balls. Guys, guys, we did it again. Thank you guys very much for watching and supporting the channel. I will see you guys next weekend.
Aloha.